All right, so we are going to do a little bit of tissue release, um, self-massage, foam rolling um, with your hands and possibly these objects if you have them. So I'm gonna kind of give you lots of options and talk about why the chest is so important to make sure that um, it is released and ready to work for you. So a lot of times when people have neck issues or shoulder issues, they're like, I have a bad shoulder. Um, it's actually often coming from the chest. So the muscles attach here, they run up at a diagonal and when they shorten up from slouching or being at our computer or driving, okay, when they shorten up, it pulls us forward. It pulls our shoulder girdle out of alignment. And then it takes our head, which should be nice and balanced here and shifts it forward. So all your vertebrae are like shifting and um, shearing. And then we're like, oh, I have a bad neck, I have bad shoulders. When usually what happens is they're fine, if you fix the working conditions. So the first thing we're gonna do is just kind of use our hand to get to know these muscles. So you might even be able to lift up your arm and kind of pinch that muscle. Now, some people have an indent here and some people won't. It just kind of depends on how the muscles leg, uh, kind of the shape of your skeleton can kind of affect that. So I can really pinch from underneath and get a really good grab on that muscle. You might just need to push. Okay, so kind of up in here where it's the upper portion of the chest where it's a little bit meatier and muscly, I want you to dig in with your fingers, okay? Now, it is, if you don't have very strong hands, it, your fingers can get really tired. So I do realize that. And that's where sometimes using a ball, sure that one fall. Um, we're using a ball, <laughs> you can hold the ball and kind of move around. But I, I do like you to experience what it feels like with your fingers so that you can really see how much those muscles move when you move your shoulder around, okay? So if I take these muscles and I grab and I kind of pull them forward, it limits, like, that's about all I can do. If I let go, I can reach all the way up. So that's how those tight muscles can inhibit that shoulder movement. If you can't get your arms back here in line with your ears, if they're forward, that's part of that, okay? So I want you to dig in with your fingers or with the ball. If your finger's already tired, grab a ball. I've been known to use uh, like the end of a flat hairbrush. Um, if I was in a pinch, I would even like use my calculator. <laughs> I would use anything that's not going to damage my tissue to help if I really felt like I needed to get in a little deeper and my fingers were tired. Okay, so what does it feel like in there? Do you feel kind of, um, sometimes you might feel some lumps, you might feel tender spots. Okay. So normally if I have any shoulder twinge of pain, if I have any neck twinge of pain, or if I wake up and I'm like, oh, I can't turn my head, I go right to the chest. I go right to the chest. And if it's more in my shoulder, I focus a little bit more on the meat. If it's more up in my neck, I'll come up underneath. Um, let's go to the collarbone. If you can see collarbone here, if I can. So sometimes what happens is all these muscles get kind of stuck and tight in there. So often I'll just take my hand and just kind of massage along there. I could also move my arm around. I can move my head around a little bit. And you might find, oh, that's really tender or in my case this morning, really sweaty. <laughs> okay. So as we work into that, I want you to just keep massaging, keep, a you know, you might find a reach here. You might find a reach here. You might like the circle, just kind of play around and explore. I could also use my bigger ball, which is really great. I can come here and kind of use that to massage. But the best thing, and I'm gonna turn the camera to do this, is, if you can see this wall, I can take, I'm gonna to have to go to this side. I'm gonna put the ball here, lean in, and now I can put my body weight, and now I can move my arm around. And that is fantastic. If I was doing the other side, which we'll do, I hear and the arm would move around. So that is really great to get in deeper. Um, some people um, sometimes like to go to the floor, like if you have a hard ball or um, even a bigger ball, like a medicine ball that's kind of firm, you might find lying on the floor and getting in there may work for you. 
You could also kind of get on your roller and put your roller across there and then move your arm around on the other side. So there, there are definitely options. So let's stop for a second. Okay, just sit up. What do you notice? So for me, I notice like lack, um, less tension up my neck, up the back of my head even, okay? Um, even into my eye. So these muscles in the back, actually your whole back fascia line starts behind your toes, goes all the way up the back of your body, all the way over to your eyebrows. It's one fascial line. So when this is pulling on that fascial line, releasing this can release a ton of pain. And for me, I just, I feel less tension on the side of my face today. On other days, I might feel like my necks, or you might see a shoulder like pop up here because sometimes it's pulled down so hard that when you release it, it pops up. Sometimes um, it's like here fighting it. So when you release it, it relaxes down. So it could go either way. Do both shoulders. Do you feel the difference? Reach up, reach out. Turn your head to one side, turn your head to, oh, so I can feel that too. This side, I feel like I, I have that room to look. This side is like, mm, not so much. So let's see if that changes. Let's do the other side. So kind of get in, feel. Can I like you to use your hands? Because it's the most, you know, you can get the best feedback, the best sensation. But once your hands become too tired and you need to use another tool, that's totally fine. So years before I started doing these techniques, like every other month or like every third month, um, I'd get a, like, wake up with like my neck, like, ah, oh, oh, I can't. And I'd be in super pain or I'd be like stuck and I'd have to take several days off. It was usually when I was really working hard to do um, push-ups and I'd be working push-ups and working push-ups and then maybe my shoulder would start to hurt. I'd wake up with my neck hurting and then I'd get set back, have to stop for a while, lose what I gained and then start over. So since doing these techniques, and again, if your hand's getting tired, you could use a ball. Um, since doing these techniques of dealing with this tissue, I haven't had my neck twinge or tweak more than like once and I still was able to take care of it. Okay. You might even take that ball and kind of roll it across the tissue. Sometimes you can feel that rope of muscle. Okay. And you can use both hands. I like the big ball. It's like a five centimeter diameter or not five centimeter, five inch. <laughs> And that can be kind of nice. And again, you could go to the wall and do it as well. And then up by your collarbones, let's come up here again. I can already feel like this nice little, when I push here, I can feel this nice little release down here going, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, got a nice little click out of my shoulder. And you know when people say, oh, I slept on my neck wrong. So one thing to think about is very often you're dehydrated and you did sleep wrong, but you were dehydrated. So you kind of dried up and woke up in that position. So a big part of our tissue quality and our tissue, if it gets sticky and sticks together is from being dehydrated. Whether you're not drinking enough, whether you drink something that um, uh, was acted like a diuretic, whether you were just super overactive and sweated out. So lots of different things can, can do that. Kind of a little sore spot there. Oh, and actually again, right there, it's like radiating back in here because we're, we're connected. All right, so what's nice is you always have your hands with you. So this is something, um, if I was ever like driving in traffic, which thank goodness I don't have to do anymore um, or very often, is, um, you know, I would be driving and I'd even just take one hand, like sitting in traffic and just kind of loosen that up and it helps so, so much. So that's how you can, um, some different ideas for doing self chest release to deal with neck and shoulder issues.